Crank man on deck. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Man Training Podcast. I am your man T Bell, and yeah, Friday. I waited kind of late to do this episode, but I got the episode done. And at this point in the game, I think it would be a disservice to myself to even remember the episode that I'm on. So we're just going to keep chugging forward and we're going to keep it moving no matter what episode I'm on. But as always, good job, Tyler. T Bell. Boy, you ain't never did nothing this consistent. You're doing pretty good, son. Keep up the great work. Whatever number we on, I'm proud of you. Keep up the great work and don't stop now. Keep your foot on the gas pedal. Okay, T Bell. Okay. So today's uh, topic is going to be, I guess you could say something that was inspired by my wife. Well, this was inspired by my wife because she asked me this question. Uh, We were headed out of town. And when we were going out of town, before we left, you know, I didn't know what my work schedule was going to be. And she was like, well, if I got to go down to Florida by myself, I will. And I said, well, no, not with three kids. You ain't going by yourself. You're going to have me looking like a bad husband if something happened to you. And uh-uh, not happening on TV at watch, right? Uh, so we were headed out of town. It was night. It was probably about 8, 9 o'clock. It was dark. We were traveling down the back roads, headed down to Florida. Um... It was like dark, dark, no street lights, one, no cars on the road. The um, Most of the businesses we passed were closed. And I will say, if you would have broke down, it would have been some some uh, some side eye like, oh, snap. But nevertheless, straight to the point, Tyler. Don't ramble like most people do. Straight to the point. Gotcha, Tyler. Uh, so she asked me as we were riding, if something were to happen to me, her while she was riding if she would have went by herself um she knows she probably would have freaked out but then she asked me um like in situations like that where do i find comfort or what or what or who do i lean on and i said most of the time either jesus or my daddy right not knowing deep within myself i got a lot more gumption that most men probably would because I have a few life experiences that can actually get me over the next hump. And I have now I know looking back after, you know, talking to her, my dad, reflecting on the question a little bit more that um, my previous experiences and the things I've tried to figure out and my life experiences. Um, that's what I more so could lean on. You know, she asked my dad and of course, that's what his answers was. But. You know, I guess I didn't really understand the question, but uh, that's my question to all the men out there, Um, because I know most women or wives, if you have a husband, you know, it's a something troubling or something going on that you can't figure out or you're not trying to figure out. You don't think it's your responsibility. What you going to do? Call your husband to have to help him have him fix it. Right. Like something simple as uh, when one of the one of the toilets stop working. First thing Joy say, she don't like. She used to be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna call the plumber," but now she's just like, "Tyler, toilet ain't working," and that's it. Or the car making a funny noise, and that's it. It's on me to figure out the rest to make sure it gets taken care of. And this is what I want to challenge most men at. Now, if you got money, great. Most definitely, you are blessed and highly favored. I'm happy for you. If you got money to just blow and spend on whatever you want, kudos to you not talking to you. I'm talking to the people that uh, sometimes if you ain't got it, you either got to do it yourself or find a workaround. Now, that's people out there. If something you need to get it fixed and it costs $5,000, a lot of people, they got the money to just be like, yeah, I got $10,000. I could just splurge $5,000. I'm at the point in my my life where it's like, okay, you pay all the bills take care of these kids then what's left goes in the savings right but um i'm in a season where sometimes i gotta just figure it out like shoot ain't nobody finna pay you all that money to fix this like when them toilets stop working the job was like toilet ain't working and i ain't calling no plumber oh my grass need to cut i don't like calling no lawn care specialist i want to cut my own grass but like for those let me ask you for all those men out there what would you do if money ran out and you had to figure out on your own, if you didn't have the money that you you had today and your budget had to get cut and you had to, let's just say you're living on one income, 
what would you do? You can't pay to get everything done. That's If you can, great. But sometimes you can't and you got to figure it out on your own or you got a way to do it. How would most men fare in those types of situations? When you ain't got it and you got to figure out another way to do it, what would you lean on? Hmm? If you break down on the side of the road and you don't have AAA or you can't pay for a tow truck, do you know how to change a tire? If you can't afford um, to get your grass cut every two weeks, do you know how to cut grass? If you know you want to hang up a you, you, my wife, she want to hang up a ceiling fan. I mean, not ceiling fan, change the light fixtures. I ain't finna call no electrician to hang hat. No, nobody come hang there. I'm a, I can do that myself. But I'm just saying, it's it's good to have money. It's great to have money. But can you figure it out without money? Like, how what does your brain do? In the midst of trying to figure it out without money. Because money come and go. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, my budget was real big for these kids. Now, make sure these kids taken care of. We finna put these jokers in daycare. Uh, I gotta put my money elsewhere, right? It's either pay somebody to do this or pay for daycare. And daycare finna win right about now. Because these little niggas finna get up by my house. But, ask yourself this, fellas. If money was... If money was a factor, meaning um, I had to cut cut back and spend that on something else, would I be able to figure an issue out or would I ball? It's a lot of stuff where I'd be like, okay, I can save money here and do it myself. Versus, I, like, I'm getting to the point now where I know I can do a lot of stuff. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm getting to the point where I have to realize, okay, one, I can't do everything um, myself, like me, I can cut grass day and night. I love cutting my grass. Joy knows I love cutting my grass. But now it's getting to the point where I got to pay somebody to cut my grass because I don't be having time to do it like I used to. And it take me like three, four hours sometimes to do it. But that's because I let it grow thick. But the question is, no, this I guess not the question, but if I couldn't pay somebody to cut my grass, I can. I know how to cut my grass myself. That's the point. Like, if you couldn't pay somebody to cut your grass, would you know how to cut your grass is what I'm saying. Like, if you, I can wash my own car, but sometimes I don't be feeling like it, so I can go pay somebody to wash my car. But if I couldn't afford to pay somebody, I know how to wash my own car. Like, stuff like that. Can you figure that out without money? Especially men, because money come and go. Now, when you got money, great. You can spend it on what you want, great. Happy for you. But when you got to start cutting back and, and putting money up in other places instead of like those small things, would you be able to figure it out? What would you lean on? Where would your guidance come from? Could you figure it out and make it happen? Or is spending money on whatever you want the only way you know how to get stuff done? Think about that. It's great to have money. But if you don't got it, can you find the workaround? All right. Until next time, this has been your man T. Bell. Thank you for supporting and tuning in and watching the Man Training Podcast. And always remember, women want men that know how to figure it out. Joy has learned how to trust me as her husband because she knows I more than likely will know how to figure it out. Tyler, sink it. Sink just dripping away. Okay, got to fix the sink. Replace the sink. Oh, Tyler. Oh, the grass need to be cut. Well, I guess I'll call somebody. Or if I don't call somebody, I'll do it myself. Oh, Tyler, I want to get my wa- my car washed. Oh, I go out there and do it. Or I'll just pay somebody to do it. But either way, men need to know how to figure it out. All right. Till next time, I'm your man T. Bell. Thank you for supporting the Man Training Podcast. Support the video. Like the video. Share the video. And of course, as always, you got to go be great. But the only way that you can go be great, fellas... Is if you know how to figure it out. That's what a real man is. Now, don't be trying to be back smart and all that time. Oh, real man, go out there and make the money. Okay. Yeah, real man, know how to go, go out there and make the money. What if you get fired? What if you ain't got no job? What if the money ain't coming in like it was once was? What if you can't work 80 hours a week? What if your job, what if COVID shut your job down? Don't give me that bull crap. Figure it out, men. I'm I'm not trying to be mean. But anyways, on a positive note, until the next time, go be great.